where you at with the quarterback decision? What were we going to say? Same <laughs> started. Oh, um, yeah, I thought Ty did some good things in the uh, second half of Philly, so he'll, he earned the right to, to start this game. That's getting ready for the Rams. Really have nothing else to add on it. Um, that's where we're at. Was there, I guess, the thought process about, like, maybe considering sticking with DeVito? Did you, like, automatically decide you wanted to go to Tyrod? How did that? Yeah, just, just what I said. Uh, decided to go with Ty, did some good things in the Philly game, and earned the right to start. How much of that was weighing, you know, what's best for the moment versus developmental? Yeah, just the focus on the Rams and uh, try to go out there and play a good game. Specifically, did Tyrod show you in that second half? I just thought he did some good things, um, so he's earned the earned the opportunity this week. You, you mentioned, you know, throughout this whole thing that, you know, when Danny got it, he gives us the. I feel he gives us the best chance to win. You said so. Obviously, this is the same thing with Tyrod that you feel right now. He gives you the best chance to win this game. Yeah, just trying to trying to get ready for the Rams and uh, play a good game. How did you? How did you break it to Tommy, and what, did you, what was your kind of message to him, yeah, young player? We, we've had those conversations before, so keep those private. Um, getting ready to go on the Rams. How did you come out health wise? Good. We're doing a walkthrough today, so everybody will be participating in walkthrough. Is there any update on Jamie? Is you know groin plus the the knee and? Yeah. Uh, We'll see. We'll see tomorrow, but um, yeah, trending in the right direction. Are you, oh, okay. Yeah. You mentioned um, the other day about Evan that we need something. Yeah. Going on. Yeah. I mean, so that's um, um, some kind of procedure. He, he, he should be fine, obviously, after that, I would think. You know, well, I mean, he's going to have to have the procedure. Right. And, and then, and then he should go be through okay. rehab and all those other things. Is it a major, uh, major thing for him? Uh, I just, I mean, anytime you get a potential surgery, so, um, but he's done everything we've asked him to do, he's approached everything the right way. Why not put him on injured reserve earlier in retrospect? And then also, how do you, what do you make of his, you know, this is obviously a sec really high pick and his second season kind of probably didn't go as planned. Yeah, look, he's doing everything we've asked him to do. Um, and I know he'll continue to do that. Has the surgery been, was that something guys talked about maybe earlier in the season and we're going to try to hold off until after was it something that yeah no we've i mean this is a conversation we've had um and then so he's it's what he's going to get the surgery um you know fairly soon um and then rehab and, and be ready to go rams have a receiver who's um who's like a fifth round pick who uh I don't know. I, mean, I don't know what you thought of him coming out of the draft but I'm yeah the another one is the third round pick right yeah yep they're uh Two really good players, tremendous run after catch, um, strong, physical. I mean, they do stuff that tight ends do in the run game, both of them. Um, got a lot of respect for Sean. They played really well. You know, they were five and 12 last year, started out three and six last year. You know, Stafford is you know, as good a quarterback there is in the league right now, um, has been for a long time, but five and one, scoring a ton of points um, on point, uh, does a great job of you know, getting those guys the ball. Um, he's an exceptional, exceptional player. They, they do a great job, and they're playing really well. What have you noticed about this kid, Aaron Donald? <laughs> uh, one of the best to ever do it. Yeah, he's a, he's always a problem when you play him. As much as you try to game plan for him, he's he always finds ways to make plays. He's, you know, he's one of the best defensive players. He's unbelievable. Why do you think these? Uh, Interior guys like Aaron Donald, even like guys like Dex, are able to make such a massive impact these days. Like, you know, it seems like they're more impactful on the game maybe than even in the past. Yeah, I mean, I'd say there's a, a number of them. Those are two really right. good ones you mentioned. Um, you know, you can do different things and slide, but it's a little bit different when you you know have edge guys that you can chip and do different things when they're inside. Um, they get matched up. You know, whether it's a protection issue, or you have to turn some way. And they're they're one on ones. They're, they're hard to block. They all, you know, he's obviously smaller than a guy like Dex, but he is uh, explosive as a player that there's been. Um, I mean, he's he's a fantastic player, um, and he's been that way for a long time. Do you think Dexter is on a trajectory that could, you know, that other coaches could say the things you're saying about Aaron Donald about him at some uh, point? Yeah, I don't want to speak for other coaches. I just, I'm, I'm glad Dexter's on our team. He's, uh, you know, he's a heck of a player, um, hard to block. Great teammate, puts the team first. 
powerful, athletic. Um, you know, certainly glad we have them. Is there anything that's changed in them? They're what, five and one since the bye. What yeah, are Stafford's doing? thrown 15 touchdowns, two interceptions. I mean, he's he's one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Uh, been that way for a long time. Um, playing good team football. Don't have a lot of negative runs. You know, five plus runs are tops in the league. Um, explosive pass plays. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just they're playing they're playing good football. And he's, you know, competed against him, watched him from afar. You know, remember him coming out of Georgia. Great, great dude, but uh, he's a, one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Dave, when you, you made the decision to stick with Tommy when Tyrod came off of IR. Uh, you know, you said you had conversations with both mm -hmm. players throughout the whole process. Was there any part of that that you talked to both of them and prepared them that what's happened the last week or so is still a possibility just for both of them to continue moving forward? Yeah, I just say that they're, they're, both of them are ready to go, um, doing their job. And when their number's called, expect them to be ready to go. You said last week that you didn't want to go week to week. The perception is now you kind of went week to week. What what changed or yeah, Tyron, what's different? Tyron did some good stuff in the, the second half. Um, so we're in the right to play. What did you see him able, I guess, able to do with the offense this past week that maybe the offense wasn't able to do when he was playing against the skills or whatever? Yeah, I just say ties a ties a pro. Um, you know, quitted himself well and has earned this opportunity. James, what goes into the, the opportunities, the number of opportunities Jalen Hyatt has, you know, on a week to week basis? Yeah, I, I, again, Jalen's doing everything we've asked him to do. Um, you know, we got to do a good job with that, too. I'm sorry. We got to do a good job with that, too. Are you suggesting you haven't always done a great job with no, that? No, we're, I mean, you try. I mean, look, there was, you know, I don't know, three, four, or five shots dialed up. Either they stayed high on it, they, you know, had a safety over it. But, you know, you're always trying to, you know, you're always trying to improve in that area. Is there ever the idea, like, maybe this is more of a basketball thing, but like make them defend him and his speed? Yeah, no, it's certainly, certainly trying, but we got to, we got to continue to work on that.